this is a big discovery from the last decade, and we're kind of living through this golden age of understanding communication mm. and for the first time in a new way. The first thing that researchers have found is that we think of a discussion as being about one thing. We're talking about my book, or we're talking about your kids. Yeah. But actually, every conversation is made up, every discussion is made up of different kinds of conversations that ebb and flow. And most of those different kinds of conversations fall into one of three buckets. There's a practical conversation where we're talking about plans or making decisions together or we're fixing problems. Politics is often this. There's an emotional conversation where if I tell you how I'm feeling about something, I do not want you to fix it for me. I want you to acknowledge that you've heard it and I want you to tell me to, to sort of be vulnerable with me. And then there's a social conversation. And a social conversation is about how we relate to each other in society, how we think other people see us, how our identities, right? Mm. How our identities shape how we see the world in different and interesting ways. And the key is there's this thing known as the matching principle, which is if I'm having an emotional conversation and you respond with a practical conversation, even though both of what we're saying is legit, we're not going to hear each other. That is outstanding. This happens at home. Like I with my spouse all the time. Mm -hmm. I come home, I've had a tough day at work, I'm complaining about my boss. Mm -hmm. My wife says, she solves the problem. She says, why don't you go and like take him out to lunch and get to know each other better? And instead of being like, that's really good advice, I'm like, you don't understand, you're not listening to me. <laughs> like, Very good, Charles. Yep. So, so if she matches me mm -hmm. and then invites me to match her, mm -hmm. then we're having the same kind of conversation. Then we can hear each other.